I'm Kay, and I'm a late bloomer. <laughs> in mid-January, I planted this entire island in prairie cone flower, butterfly flower, dill bouquet, and cosmos flower seeds. I imagined it would be solid flowers and loaded with butterflies by March. But it's the middle of April and this is all I've got, so I've got to plant some more seeds. Two years ago, there was a big ficus tree right here and the princess flower had to share. When the ficus started uprooting the street, the sidewalk and the driveway, it was time to go. Now I love trees, but don't plant ficus anywhere near anything because they get huge and their roots are right under the surface. Once that was gone, the princess flower took off and it was the pride of the block, so I had to keep it. The princess flower was brought to the U.S. from Brazil by Los Angeles horticulture giant Hugh Evans, according to his granddaughter Pam Kendall, who dropped by the other day. Evans felt our benevolent climate could support year-round flowering greenery, and the princess flower delivers on that promise. Because there's only filtered light underneath, and vegetables need sun. I decided to make it my flower island. There was only one problem. There was an enormous ficus root six inches under the surface and I just had to get it out of there. It was still alive after the tree had been gone two years. I had help with that. In January when my friend Dottie was here and she knows a lot more about growing flowers than I do, I was inspired to plant about 10 plots of flower seeds around my princess. While I was waiting for the flowers to come up, I planted this little daisy. January was a little early as it turned out. Either the birds ate the seeds or they didn't germinate. Only one cosmos and one dill plant came up. Because I had tossed out the cosmos packet, I didn't even know what it was, so my friend Mary in New Jersey, who also knows a lot more about growing flowers than I do, straightened me out. <laughs> now it's just an island of weeds, so I've got work to do. That is not a cone flower. Neighbor Sid gave me some early encouragement. You spent a lot of time and effort on this thing, <laughs> and it's growing, <laughs> which is fantastic. On May 2nd, when nothing else had sprouted, I planted buckwheat all over my flower island. I also threw in a row of amaranth. Within days, the seeds were exploding. This is my flower island today. Uh, princess flower, my iceberg rose, cosmos, and buckwheat. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? This is my one and only dill plant. This huge thing came from one little seed, one tiny little seed. Bees love dill. This big bee can balance on those tiny blooms. Watch out. This is buckwheat, a cover crop and a soil builder. You plant seeds and within one month, it's ready to turn over into green manure to build the soil. However, it's so pretty, I'm just going to leave it until it's not pretty. <laughs> I'm Kay. I'm a late bloomer. Thanks for watching. See you next time. I was inspired to plant about 10 plots of prince plant about 10 plots of I was inspired I was inspired to plant about <coughs> Mm. <laughs>